Hello and welcome to a guide for exporting animations from Blender and rigging it in Unity. Here I have a very simple melee animation. So I have my weak attack, my strong attack, and my equip animation. All right, so when we export this from Blender, we need to change the FBX properties to fit Unity's parameters. So we'll go to export, FBX, and down here, the default exporting is 7.4 binary, but we'll want to change it to 6.1 ASCLL. After that's done, go to the part where you exported it, and yes, I have a messy desktop because I'm working on a lot of projects, and we'll drag and drop our animation into Unity. Here it is. So the first thing we're going to want to do is change the scale factor to 100. And we'll apply that. We'll go to Rig and we'll change it to Animation Type Legacy and it'll automatically put it in Store and Root. Go ahead and apply that. Under the Animation tab, We'll change the wrap mode up here into clamp forever and we'll turn off keyframe reduction. And then for each and every one of these keyframes, we need to change its properties as well. So down here, it'll say wrap mode and we'll change it too to clamp forever for each and every one of these keyframes. Clamp forever, inspect, clamp forever, Strong, weak, come on, clamp forever, and then we'll hit apply. All right, that is all there is to setting up the FBX, and let's get it tied to the animation prefab. So here in the melee example uh, that Nelson was kind enough to set up for us, for the campfire axe, I will use his animation prefab to attach my own. So the first thing we're going to do is go to these circles right next to our keyframes and we'll select none for each and every one of these. All right. And now Go down here to our animation prefab again, which is right next to the item prefab. And then we'll go to where we have our animation FBX. So we'll hit the side arrow, and right here is what we want. So we're gonna drag the equip up here into this top slot, which will turn the size to five, but we need it to be four. But Unity, for some reason, uh, likes to increase the size count um, one up than the number you put in. So put in three, and this is specific for melee animations. Gun animations, there's going to be way more animation keyframes. So when I hit enter on three, it'll do it to four. And then we'll drag our inspect strong and weak into the missing slots. And now everything is all set up. So when I export this campfire axe into unit or into unturned, it will have the animations that I applied to it. Um, and an important thing to note, with this project, since we already have the animations all set up, Let's say we're making another sword or another axe or whatever melee weapon uh, and we want it to use the same animations. Instead of importing the melee example all over again and resetting up our animation FBX and spending way too much time on it than you need to, you can click the campfire underscore axe um, folder that contains all of our FBX and sound files and we'll hit control D and that'll duplicate it. And then we'll hit F2 and rename it to sword. And we can do this any number of times. Whoops. OK. 
control D and we'll name it to X. The reason why we're doing this is the animation prefab uh, or the animation FBX that we rigged and programmed into the FBX or into the animation prefab that's in the chainsword file uh, or campfire X or whatever you have. Um, we duplicated that so we're using the same animations but different item prefabs. And that is all there is to setting up animations and, and Unity. Hope you find this helpful and have a good day.